In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create your own online course step-by-step -step inside of Kajabi. If you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. When we build out your product, you wanna just go over to the products tab, go to all products and then click get started. From here, you're gonna have a list of different types of products that you can build. Uh, course, if you click podcast, they always give you a description and then show you the features that come with this type of product. Coaching changes a little bit. Community, this is great for a membership site. And then uh, the course as well. What we're gonna do is just focus on building out a course. That is my sweet spot. That's how we create passive income is with courses. Click get started and then you can call this uh, something like my sweet mini course, brief description. It's awesome, period. Continue. And then you're gonna have a couple options on the type of course you wanna build. So you can do an online course, blank course, a drip course where it just kind of drips out week after week, and then a membership as well. We're gonna start with a blank course. That's what I always recommend because if you click online course, it's gonna give you like four different modules with lessons already. So unless you have a very extensive course already and you wanna just transfer that, maybe you can start over here, but I always like to just start with a blank course anytime I build a product and I'll show you why. Click blank course, continue. You wanna upload an image for the course, basically the course thumbnail. I always recommend to build this inside of Canva. It's just the easiest tool. You can, inside of Canva, watch different YouTube videos, but uh, take these dimensions and create a new design in Canva and just add these dimensions to it. And when you download it, make sure it's a JPEG, okay? Kajabi's telling you exactly what they want you to do to make it be the best product you can. Do that inside of Canva, it's fully customizable. Again, watch videos on YouTube. I'll just leave it blank for now. You can choose free or paid. Obviously, if you wanna get paid, make it a paid course, unless it's like some mini course lead magnet kind of thing, then you can do free. Uh, make sure you have your payment provider set up and connected like Stripe or PayPal, like we mentioned. What's beautiful about Kajabi is that they collect no fees on any payments. You have to pay your monthly subscription to keep Kajabi going or yearly, whatever you do, but they're not gonna take extra money from you on top of you just paying to have access to the software. All you have to really think about is just Stripe and PayPal. They take a small percentage of every payment that you make, but it's a free tool. Make sure your payment provider's set up. I'm gonna skip it for right now. It's gonna take a second to build out your course. Beautiful. Okay, in here, if you clicked, like I mentioned before, we had online course, blank, membership, whatever. If you click the online course, it's gonna give you like four different modules with different lessons inside. Common misconception, people get this wrong all the time. A lesson is the actual video. What you're watching right now is a lesson. The module is a collection of lessons. Okay, so it's just something I wanted to mention. That's why it says blank module and then blank lesson. When you build out a course, it doesn't matter if you're just kind of starting out or if you've been building courses for a long time. You wanna just think about where is your audience right now? What's, what are they struggling with? What's the frustration? Where do they wanna be? That's really it. Point A to point B, that's what our products get people to. The better you get at creating products, uh, the easier it's gonna to be to get people from point A to point B. 
But if you just think about building out a mini course, that's what I always recommend with people because you can get it, you can get a mini course built way faster than spending months to build an online course and you can build this on your phone. Like it's crazy. You can literally shoot this all on your phone, write out the content. Right now we're in the outline section and then we're gonna cover a couple of other ones of these uh, different tabs up here. But in your outline, that's all that we're doing here. So I want you to think about where your audience is right now with whatever it is that you help people with, what are they struggling with? And if you don't know this, you're completely clueless, I walk you through in depth on how to do all this inside of my course, Effortless Income. There's a link in the dashboard of this course, but you can check that out. I'd highly recommend signing up for that. It's a great course. I'm constantly refining it to make it be even better, but that walks you through in detail about customer research. So you can get really clear about where people are, where they wanna be and what's getting in the way. That way you can create great products that are virtually guaranteed to sell. Okay, but all I really want you to do is just think about where's this person at? Where do they wanna be? And then what we're gonna do to build out your mini course is create five steps. That's all. It could even be three steps, but I, I'd say five is a good general rule of thumb. And those five steps are gonna be your five video lessons that are gonna get someone from point A to point B. And the title of your course is going to not be my sweet mini course, it's going to be the main benefit that your course delivers on that gets them from point A to point B. Okay, so when, in terms of building this in Kajabi, you're gonna have your blank module, which you can change. You can say, you know, five steps to um, build your online business. That's something I would say, you can add a description, add a thumbnail, save module. So that's what it's called right here. And then you're gonna wanna go to add content. You can add a sub module, lesson, quiz, or import a lesson from another course when you start building other courses in Kajabi. So we wanna just focus on a lesson and we're just gonna call this step two, create lesson. We'll call this step one, fix that save and then we're going to go back and just keep things simple we'll just do three steps step three great lesson cool so when you have these lessons built out one important thing to note is that down in the the bottom right hand corner it says published or draft anytime you make a new lesson of any kind or a new module uh, you have to make sure that you switch, switch this to published for each one, okay? It's kind of annoying that you have to do that every time, but it's just kind of a safety thing to make sure that your lesson is built before you publish it. That's why Kajabi does it. And if you ever, like down the road, you can always build off of your mini course. Let's say you wanted to create a new module. You can go up to add content and add a new module, sub module, lesson, quiz. So you just click here to add module, and then you can name it, and it's gonna add a new collection of videos. Okay, so for example, like in Effortless Income, my course, customer research is one module. Building your course is another module. Selling your course is another module. Okay, with a couple of different videos inside of that. Again, we're just keeping it simple. It's a mini course, five steps to accomplish whatever it is that people want to accomplish. That's your mini course, at least for now. And then you can build off of that down the road. But we wanna get this thing launched ASAP. So with these videos, shoot them on your phone. Like, don't, do not complicate this. You can even go inside of your uh, lesson when you click on the actual lesson, like step one right here. You can change it to whatever you want. I'd recommend making it be something catchy. You can even say step one, uh, whatever the benefit is. So like if it was um, me helping you build your online business, it could be step one, customer research. Okay, cool. Down here, think about in this lesson, will cover, and then you can go dot, dot, dot. You can do some bullet points or number lists. You can say whatever it is. So this, this, this. This is going to be your lesson content. You just wanna make sure that you cover all of this in your video that you're gonna shoot on your phone. Do not make this complicated. It's called creating a minimum viable product. So it's bare bones, just get it up and running. It gets people from point A to point B in five simple steps. Okay, that's all building an online course really is. If you have questions, you wanna learn more about this, either invest in effortless income, check that out, or you can always just email me, james at or leave a comment below this video. 
and I'll help you out. We'll come up with the five steps you can do so you can get your business up and running inside of Kajabi. But let's say you get all this stuff built. Okay, so you got my sweet mini course, customer research, step two, step three, all of it is outlined. Always start with a clear outline, then film your videos. And then, um, oh, if you wanna upload your video, you just go here. So let's say you shot it on your phone, uh, you dropboxed it to your computer, we'll say, then you can go pick a file and then you can pick whatever the video is going to be. But you can even add it from your Google Drive or Dropbox, which is pretty amazing. Or your camera. You can literally shoot it right on your camera if you have a webcam even. Well, that's pretty crazy. So you can do all of that, okay? Then you're all set up. Let's say your course is completely built at this point. Then we want to go to customize. So you've put up all your videos. Customize. It automatically gives you the premier product. But if you click here, install template, there's a handful of different templates that you can use. You can even upload a new template if you want. I think people sell them online for Kajabi specifically. The Premiere is the one that they give you by default. You can even gamify, which is really cool. Uh, Hero made, so someone actually made this for Kajabi, which is pretty awesome. I like Momentum. And if you click here, you can preview what Momentum looks like. The reason I like Momentum is because they give you the sidebar. It's really cool, it's really easy to navigate, or they can click categories, and then they can have all the steps right here. Step one, step two, step three. This is one that I build all of my courses in. So this is just a preview mode. You can also add, like if you wanted to book a one-on-one -on -one call with people who've signed up in your course, they can apply for a call. Or if you had another course or two courses, or to go back to your website, you can create links with all of this. Um, but this is just kind of giving you a little preview. And when you're ready, you go down here to the bottom right corner, to install template. Okay, so it's still here. This is still active if you didn't want to use the Premiere product. And then, so you want out, oh, you want to go here, momentum. And then we want to go to activate. And then it's going to switch it. So you'll still have this theme down here unless you decide to delete the template, but you want to make sure that you activate it. Okay, so that way you're actually using the theme that you chose. In here, you can click right here and you can change up whatever you want, just the description of like, hey, this here's what you're gonna get inside the course, here's how you get the most out of this course. Um, what else can you do? The welcome screen, start course, resume course, is very customizable, just kind of play with it. I honestly don't even use announcements, really, uh, so I just get rid of that and then it's just categories. If you wanna add these cards, you can click here, click the image you want, where it links to, links to a specific part of your website, like straight to the checkout page. You can do coupons, you can get really fancy with all this stuff, but for right now, just get bare bones, get your videos set up, and then you can play around with the different col colors and whatnot inside of here. If you go to settings, you can choose a specific fav icon, fav icon for your course. At the topography, if you wanna change out the actual font, you can click that, you can click here. Let's say those were the two fonts you wanted to use. And then you can actually change out the font inside of your course to something that makes sense for you and your business. Okay, general settings. And you can just kind of play around with it all in here. Sections, tabs, welcome screen, navigation, show posts. Yeah, so this is where you're gonna actually customize what everything looks like. And just kind of play around with it, play around with the buttons, see what you can do. But that's how you're gonna get the real look and feel of your course. Once you have built out your outline, you've customized the look and feel of your course with these different templates, the one that makes sense for you that you like, the final step to building out your course inside of Kajabi is to go over to offers. It says, looks like you have not created any offers yet. Add a new offer and we will call this offer title, uh, my sweet mini course. Since we've already created the product, here's my sweet mini course, it's already hooked up. Right here, you can see, you can even add multiple products if you wanted to an offer, which is really cool. So let's say you had three different courses, but you wanted to build a new product and it would just be a bundle of courses. You can click all three of the courses that you have and now you have a completely new offer. Okay, pretty amazing. Unlimited offers inside of Kajabi, but you are limited on the actual products you get based on which plan you are on. But if you know things like bundling offers and that kind of stuff, you can get really fancy with it and kind of work around the system. So we're gonna to go to continue. Obviously you want it to be paid, connect to payment provider. We'll just say it's free for right now. 
And then in here is where your offer section is. If you notice, we were in the products tab when we were building that out, but then we click to build a new offer. Now we're in the sales tab. That's where you're gonna find offers, coupons, payments, and affiliates if you wanna have affiliates for your own business. Okay, this is the course we have set up. We can add another product if we want inside of the offers tab. We can go over to pricing. In here, when you have it be set for paid, you can actually set up like how much you want it to be. It's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, the reason that I'm not seeing this is because I'm in my partner's tab, not my actual Kajabi tab. Uh, you can choose a quantity limit or a time limit. If you say like people can only be in this course for one year that you get. I don't like that. I like lifetime access. I think it's a good selling point of people signing up for my products. Uh, you can do a quantity limit where I'm only having 10 people sign up uh, per week or per month. And then it closes, whatever you want to do. If you want to do like an open close kind of business, you can do that as well. I like always open evergreen style business. Uh, the title, internal title, that's just for you. So you can say like uh, mini course one or whatever you want to do. Uh, this is cool. The internal title, it's optional. That's only what you see. No one, no one is going to see that except for you. So if people buy your course, they will not see the internal title. It's just for you if you want to reference to something. You can do a description of what the offer is about. With offers, it's not really important as the, the course. And if you want to add upsells, you can do that as well. Make a short little video. So when people go through the checkout process, they buy the course, then they can uh, be offered a new exclusive product that fits with the course as well. Okay, once you get this stuff set up, then we're gonna wanna go to edit checkout. Okay, in here, keep it simple. Okay, don't get super fancy with this. Don't waste a lot of time because it's really easy to do that. It's my sweet mini course. It tells you what to do inside of Kajabi. Here's what you get. Insert value one, value two, value three. What are three benefits that they're gonna get by signing up with this course? And then a disclaimer, you know, you can add if you have a, a 30 day money back guarantee for your mini course, which I'd recommend you do. You could say, don't forget, this is backed up with a 30 day, 100% satisfaction money back guarantee. So in the first 30 days, if you're not completely happy, just send me um, an email and I'll refund you immediately. Okay, for your mini course, what I recommend pricing it at would be between 50 to $100. That's about it. And I have a video on my YouTube channel where I actually walk you through how to set up and launch your mini course. Uh, I can even copy that down below. I'll put the link down below this video. Okay, but your page content, that's all of this. The design, don't even worry about it. Like really, it's not that important. By the time people get to your checkout page, they should already be sold. Your checkout page shouldn't sell them. Okay, it's just kind of a summary of what they're going to get, but they should already be sold by the time they get to your checkout page. So don't worry too much about the design. People waste so much time on this. It's really not as important as people make it up to be. Okay, and if you ever want a good reference, you can always look at my website, go through... Uh, like effortless income, for example, and you can look at the checkout page and how I have it set up and you can set up your checkout page in a very similar way. Just make it unique to your offer. Don't obviously copy it word for word because that just doesn't make sense. But look at the design and the format of it and then put in your keywords and your language to make it unique to you. Okay, so I know that we went over a lot. Bottom line is that you want to build your product inside the products tab. You want to make sure that your outline is set up, that you've recorded your videos, and this can take you a week just to focus on this. Record your videos, do it on your phone, have three points that you cover for each video on whatever the topic is to get your audience from point A to point B. And then you wanna make sure it's customized so the look and feel is really nice. And then in here, as you can see, it says one offer that we have set up. My sweet mini course, it's free. Obviously, when you get your payment provider set up, it'll be paid and then you can go inside of that and you can play around with the pricing and whatnot. Again, a good mini course, typically 50 to $100. That's a good baseline to at least get started. And then you can build off of it down the road. You can build it into a flagship course just by adding different lessons and adding different modules to the course. But make sure you go over your outline, you customize it, and then you get your offer set up. That's really all it is.